I want to talk to you about being healed from unclean spirits when you're a virtuous woman. Unclean spirits, remember, these are spirits in uh, a female's life that she has to be free from so that you can function correctly as a woman of God because mentally you go through traumatic experiences all throughout your life that those traumatic experiences often damage you but you move so fast going forward that you don't have a time of reflection to even recognize, hey, I'm traumatized. I'm damaged by something that has happened either in my past. Hold on. Let me see. So when a woman gets healed from unclean spirits, that woman recovers back to the estate that she was supposed to be in her soul before she goes through traumatic experiences. Before something happens that either breaks your heart, makes you angry, disappointment, rejection, uh, mistreatment, um, being ostracized, uh, being fought, going through all those avenues of either disrespect, dishonor from people, warfare, uh, deception, uh, failed relationships, those things wound a woman. So what happens is you have to be healed for you to even take that virtue aspect of yourself and place it into operation. See, the virtuous woman is an office that's given to a female. It's an office given to her. But the operation of that office, it comes through healing. If a virtuous woman doesn't get healed, she becomes self-destructive in even how she makes money. She becomes self-destructive in who she chooses to be her friends. Have you ever heard of those stories where a girl goes overseas and then her friends kill her? She picked those friends. So imagine while she's in the mindset of choosing those friends, those friends were the one that killed her overseas. Oftentimes, women pick people in their life off of their wounds, not off of their wisdom. So who you choose to surround yourself with, don't be off of the wisdom of God. It be off of the wounds that you're attempting to heal. So you'll pick this one into your life and if you look at when you pick this person, you pick them at a time when you're wounded. So how do you know that the even connection is of God? Often the times that, that a woman even pursues somebody is during the time when she's wounded. Now, I talked about being wounded, but what about when you pick people while you're wicked? You're in a twisted place mentally. <laughs> you twist truth and then you'll pick somebody while you're twisting truth. In your deceitful place, you'll pick somebody. These are all aspects that you have to be healed from as a virtuous woman. So I want you to look at this. When God favors you and opens a door and even says, okay, I want to work with you. I want you to be on my team. I want to give you an opportunity. Because King Jesus, what he does is he... He reaches out for his woman through a man on earth. He uses a man's body to reach out to his woman. Even if you've been rebellious or have done evil, he'll use his man to reach out to you. That favor has grace inside of it. Favor and grace is not the same thing. Favor is access, but grace is what you are supposed to receive inside of that access. So God gives you favor so that you could discover the graces that that favor has made available to you. So when you step into favor, it doesn't mean that everything about you is correct. So every woman got to be cautious 
I don't want to take the favor and use it as self-entitlement like uh, you, everything about me is good. No, you want to discover what is the grace for me in this favor. Oftentimes, even as a woman, you think that something is an answer to the longing that you're having. And you think, if I just get this, I'll be good. But in all actuality, when you're in a broken place as a woman, the things that you pick as the antidote is it, like, like the solution for you to fill the void inside, that stuff be wrong. Because if you get what you want, you'll feel pleasure. But oftentimes, women, after they experience pleasure in life, they actually become very destructive because they thought that that pleasure was going to make them happy, make them fulfilled. But that's not where the healing was. The healing was in you. Allowing the time for the Holy Spirit to make you strong by testing you with instructions and you doing the instructions, you making a push on yourself to spend time with the word, spend time with the spirit, praise the Lord and be thankful, walk in gratitude. And as you are moving in all the weapons of your warfare, you're sowing seed into God. You are forgiving people. You are denouncing things that you opened up yourself to both past and present. And you are decreeing the word with yourself included. What happens, the healing starts to officially manifest. And then God could open you up to the pleasure plan that he has for you. Many women seek pleasure while their soul is sick. If your soul is sick, what you think is going to pleasure you is not going to pleasure you. It's just going to provoke you into a place of insanity that's deeper. You got to be healed from spirits, healed from your past, healed from former trauma so that the virtuous woman could shine forth out of you. It's very important.